Welcome to Drawing Club. If you like to draw or want to improve your drawing skills, Drawing Club is for you. Everyone is welcome to participate. You may count the time you use for drawing towards your weekly 40 minutes of art each week, or you might want to just draw because you really like it. I'll try to post a drawing prompt several times each week from Monday to Friday. Join in as often or as little as you like. The goal of Drawing Club is to have fun. You will find Drawing uh, Club prompts in our special area teams on the channel labeled Drawing Club for Art. All right, boys and girls, so welcome those of you that want to draw uh, with us. You might have a question that's something like this. How do I create a sketchbook or art journal, Ms. Failer? Well, that's what this first video is all about. Now, you might already have paper. You can just, on loose leaf paper that you find around the house, you're welcome to draw on that or even recycle paper. Maybe for schoolwork and maybe science or uh, writing, you have filled up one side with an assignment, but the back is empty. So you can use that for drawing. So loose leaf paper. Also, you might have a notebook to keep all your drawing, your sketches together. So you could just use an empty notebook. It'd be lined. If you have empty paper, that's great. So those are two simple ways if you already have that. So loose leaf paper or a notebook, or you can create your own sketchbook. So I'm going to share some ideas with you. Now, if you already know what you're going to sketch in, you probably don't need to watch this video, but if you want to learn some cool ideas of how to use things around your house or reuse to create sketch material, stay tuned. So I'm going to kind of show you a few examples first, and then I'll go back and show you how to create them in case you really like them. So a basic design is just to take a side of a snack box or cereal box. So cut one side out, you'll fold it in half, and inside we're going to tie paper. So this is going to be the first one I show you how to make because it's basic and simple. That uh, thicker cardboard box gives it a nice cover. Here I just used, actually, if you're out of paper, I found coffee filters, a pile of coffee filters in the cupboard. You can't draw a marker on them because they'll, they'll bleed through, as you see down here, but pencil will work fine. So I'll show you how to make that in a moment. Just some other ideas in case you want to stay tuned. Here's an old floss, a reused floss container. My floss was gone. I had to get new floss. So I took the inside out, and I have paper that I've made into an accordion fold to put inside for a sketch box. So an accordion-style paper. Here's just a gun, a gum wrapper that I have created a small book, a mini sketchbook that goes inside. So again, any of the ideas that you like, just stay tuned on this video and I'll be showing you how. There's two more. Maybe you have an old gift bag. We can cut it apart, apart and tie end pages to make a sketchbook. One thing about this is that we can then tape the extra pieces into folders to collect a picture you cut out from magazines or something like that. And then last, I used a paper bag from a grocery store and cut it a certain way so that when I open it, I have some, again, some pockets. I can put some loose leaf drawings. And then I've created pages in here for drawing on. Some magazine line pages, some more of the paper bag pages. I had some white paper, so that's a mix of all. So any of these ideas that you like, just stay tuned. I'm going to go back to this first basic one to show you because it is the simplest and fastest. So let me start with just the basic book. I'm going to actually cut it apart so I can show you how to make it. So when you are done with a cereal box or snack box, go ahead and rescue it from the recycling bin and cut out one side. So that's what I had done with this snack box. I cut out one side. It's a cardboard snack box. And then I, once I had it cut out, I matched two sides and I fold it into a crease. So now it's a cover of a book. Then you can see those little red marks. You're going to want to cut in slightly about an inch to a half inch. If you have a ruler, you can bust out your ruler or you can just use an edge of something. You can, if you want help drawing that straight line, you can use the edge of something close by. And then you just cut along the lines you made. Now for the paper. If you have paper, that's great. You can fold it in half and put it in. I use the coffee filters. So let me show you. I was just thinking, what if some of you guys are out of paper at home? Look around. Be creative about what supplies you can use for drawing on. So 
I took some coffee filters. And the same technique as our cover. We want to, for these I have to flatten them out. Blah, blah, blah. Now I'm going to fold them in half. I'm going to match the two sides. Now I'm going to make that crease, that fold. And then take a look what I'm going to do here. I'm going to measure again so I can see it's sticking out, so I want it to fit inside. So I'm going to take my pencil or marker. I'm going to see how far I need to cut in so it matches here. So I need to cut to here, over here, I need to cut to here. Again, you can be doing this with paper if you don't have coffee filters, but I just was using coffee filters as an example of being creative to look inside your house for things if you're out of paper. So I cut to that line. Always cutting away from myself, not towards me, watching for my fingers. Cut to that line. All right, I'm going to match up the slits. When you fold it, you'll have a book. But we need to tie it in. If you have a rubber band, a rubber band would work great. Uh, I have some ribbon. So I'm going to put it down the middle, the binding. Like slide it in here through the cuts on the side and then find the slits over here. I'm going to flip it upside down so I can tighten it up and tie it, laying it flat so it's not folded at the book in this moment. So tighten it, tighten it, and then I'm going to double knot it. If you need help with double knotting, ask somebody at home to help you. You might need to borrow a finger like this. You double knot it, the binding is there. You can curl the ribbons or you can just chop them off. If you use a rubber band, you wouldn't have to do anything with that. And when we fold it, voila, we have a sketchbook. Oh, but look, the sides are hanging out. So if your paper's too large, you just take and you trim it. So I'm just trimming my coffee filters to fit inside. My sketchbook. Voila! All right, so take a look. And then I have several pages to sketch on. And the hard cover will help that I can draw outside because it acts as almost like a miniature table since it's harder. Or inside, so it can go with me. I'll just have to be careful with the coffee filters and use pencil. Remember to use pencil, otherwise my drawings will go through several pages. Unless I put something between. Oh, that's the idea. I could put like a piece of cardboard, maybe the other piece of uh, the snack box underneath it and still use marker. So there's your basic sketchbook. Enjoy. If you're tuning in still for another example, if you like the idea of a little box, this one was a floss box. So when I done with my floss, instead of recycling it, I'm reusing it. I simply took a cut of paper. I measured it to make sure it was not going to be overlapping. And I glued it on and decorated the outside for my sketch box. And then for inside, I took strips of paper. I measured to make sure they would fit inside, inside my floss container. And here I actually glued one, two, three, four, five strips together. And then I accordion folded it. So I looked to see how large one of my pieces would need to be to fit inside and I made that fold and then I just went back and forth back and forth and now I have an accordion sketchbook the accordion sketchbooks are fun to do themes on maybe I want to sketch all the insects I really like if you like insects or bugs Maybe you like cooking, so you want to sketch all the different things you like to cook, the different foods or the thing you're growing in your garden. Maybe you want to create a special alphabet where you design each letter of the alphabet. Or just each little page will be different. So this is for miniature drawings. I'm going to put it back inside my box. And there's my sketch box from a floss container. All right, take a look at a gum wrapper. All right, so the gum wrapper, I'm probably going to, uh, not with you at the moment, but I will, I'm going to make a cover to glue around it, just like I did with my floss box. So to measure it, I'm going to take it slightly off my paper and measure there, so there I can see then that I'm going to cut this strip, and then I'll glue it around it. I'm not going to take the time right now to have you watch that, but I want to show you how to make, if you're wanting to make, a miniature sketchbook. 
four pages, including the covers inside. So let's take a look. Let me grab a new piece of paper. Here we go, it's a new piece of paper so you can see. And you can make it any size, depending on what size container, or you can just use the miniature sketchbook you fold by itself without a cover. It's totally fine up to you. So we're going to do three folds first. You're going to fold it one time, hot dog style, like a hot dog can fit into it. All right, and you're going to open it up. And we're going to fold it hamburger style this time. Match the edges. Rub, rub. Don't open it. Now you're going to fold it one more time this time. Hot dog style, like a long hot dog bun. All right. When you open it, here's the... There are our three folds, so fold it back halfway. Here's the open side here. You don't want to cut on the open side. You want cut where it's folded. So from where it's folded to this fold here. Let me open it again so you can see. I'm going to fold it back halfway, hamburger style. And that way it looks like a hot dog bun. Here's the open side. We are not cutting the open side. We are going to cut from the middle fold, this fold here in the middle of your paper. This is why I'm saying it's the middle to the second middle when you had folded it to take a look. This might take a little trial and error. So now it has like a hole in the middle of your paper. Oh, I can talk to you. All right. So we're going to open it up, fold it back, hot dog style. And then when you squish it, ooh, there's a diamond in the middle. So then you just gently take it and fold it over and you have a miniature book or sketchbook. Take a look. So quite a few pages to draw on. You can do one of these every week, up to you. This one is a little large to fit inside my uh, gum wrapper, so I'd make it a little smaller, but this one I'll use by itself. All right, let's see. So we had the basic notebook. Oh, and now the, for the bags. So for a gift bag, I'm just going to take it apart. I had a ribbon left over from a present, reusing. Let's pretend this bag has not been cut apart. So here we have a gift bag. So if you have a gift bag, here's your gift bag. Oh, looks what's inside. Oh, nothing's inside. It's all right, because it's going to become a fabulous sketch art book. So you're going to cut from one edge. Here's the handle. You're going to cut from one edge down to the bottom corner. So cut, 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 cut. Then you're going to turn it and cut around the bottom. Cut, cut on three sides, two sides and three sides. So when you open it up, look how it looks. So you, you leave this part attached. If you cut this part off, it's okay. I'm just making an extra folder with that. So you, you've cut open your gift bag. I'll be using this for a pocket and this for a pocket. Actually, while I have it open, I'm going to go ahead and tape those to create pockets. So if you have tape or glue, I'm just going to tape that pocket there, flip it over and bring the tape around this side. Just it'll be fun to keep little pieces of magazines for collaging or for pieces I want to then do observational drawing from. Maybe I found a leaf I want to do a texture rub with in my art journal when it dries out, so I'll pop it in my pocket. And then a piece of tape over on this side, again, to keep everything stowed away. So there's a little pocket to hold stuff in. I can do the same thing over on this side to create this pocket. You do not have to watch this video to be part of Drawing Club. This is just for those that are wanting to create their own sketchbooks. Maybe they don't have 
an open notebook at home or they just think it will be fun. So right now I'm just making a couple pockets in my gift bag, sketchbook, and then I'll be ready to add the paper. So there we go. So there's a second pocket. So two pockets holds up. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to fold the bag in half. If you have larger paper, you can leave it like that. From that fold inside, you'll see where the bag naturally folds. I folded it back. So it makes like a letter M. See the M? And then here's where I'm going to put my paper. So I have some just blank paper. I'm going to lay it in there. Oh, and we have to do our cutting, just like we did with the first sketchbook. So right in that center bind, I'm going to draw a line about an inch, half an inch to an inch. My paper, I'm going to measure the same. And there are other ways to make sketchbooks and art journals besides what I'm showing. Really, you just need to take some time with creativity. And you can design your own designs. And cut along that line. This side. Same thing with my paper. I know it's already cut, so I'm just going back to show you. Make sure I have all my pieces, pieces of paper. There we go. All right, and line up my folds. So my fold and my fold. I'm going to get my leftover ribbon. Again, if you have a rubber band, a hair band, that, or like jogging to keep your hair out of your face, yarn. I'm going to tuck that into the slits. On this side, I'm going to tuck it into the slits, flip it upside down, tighten it, and then I'm going to tie it. And double knot. That means two knots to make sure it doesn't come apart. Hold that one. You might have to borrow somebody's finger. Mom, will you please come hold this while you tie the second one? Or maybe mom will use your finger while she ties it for you. And you're welcome to get an adult to help you with this or older brother or sister. And just going to snip off the extra pieces. And voila! There we have, and there I have my gift bag sketchbook. When I open it up, I have some pockets. I have my papers for sketching, for drawing on. Maybe I'll even include some collaging in here. I probably wouldn't do it. If I paint, I'll have to leave it open to dry before I close it. And I have a pocket in the back. So, there's a the sketchbook bag. And then last, if you're waiting to see the paper grocery bag, here it is. I have, you'll need a paper bag and then a large rubber band, a yarn, a ribbon to tie it. I actually, for this one, I used a large Ziploc baggie down here on this palm part as my binding. So you would just take and you would cut. I just cut that strip off because look, it opens up. Because it, open up, it opens up, it acts like that rubber band binding or even like a tied string she's already tied so let me take this apart to show you how i create i created a flap to hold it together so inside so i'm actually going reverse to get my pieces of paper out and in i actually folded my art journal in half so there you can see that was the opening to my baggie that i cut off but to the side here i have the different Papers I just found, some blank paper, I had some uh, just line paper, I had pieces I measured from a grocery bag, and even magazines. Magazines I can draw on with pencil, uh, pen, and permanent marker. Water-based markers or pens are going to smear everywhere, but the others will even white out with work to draw on that. I'm going to put my paper aside so you can see the bag. Do keep a bag. Let me put the bottom back up on it. All right. So for your paper bag, you are going to leave it pretty much whole. There's the inside of it. You want to go to the bottom, and if you pinch it at the bottom, you just snip a corner off so that you can get your scissors. So again, cutting away from myself, snip a corner off, and that way your scissors will fit 
inside. And then in that corner you snipped off, you're going to cut around four, not four, excuse me, only three, only three of edges. One, two, and over here on this side, three. You might have to ask an adult to help. So that, take a look. But when you cut it like that, the bottom flaps open, but not off. It's like it talks to, hello. All right. Now, this is going to be like the snap that keeps our art journal together. Now you want to fold from the bottom. Let's see. I'm going to actually fold the bottom under so we don't get confused. Now I'm going to fold my bag in half hamburger style. So just line up those edges and fold. So there we go. There is again the bottom we just cut. It's an extra flap. It's all right. When you open it back up, you'll see your fold. You're going to mark about an inch. You might have to do more than an inch if your paper is short for cutting. Let me get my paper, my stack of papers. So go ahead and get your stack of papers to see. Oh, and you know what? It lines up pretty well. So fold them in half, crease that together, and I'm going to mark to cut about the same length. So now it's time to make our cuts. This is going to be the binding for the spine, like on a book. Same thing here. Open up my paper stack. I'm just, again, pretending to recut to show you. All right, I'm going to stack it together. Now, we already did this on our gift bag in the first one where we tied it. You can use ribbon if you have ribbon. If you have a large rubber band, you can use ribbon again just to go around and tie it on. I actually used that top of the baggie zip block. I broke off the plastic piece there. So now for this, if you're using like a rubber band or the top of a baggie, you're going to want to fold your art journal one time or just gently bend it. Let's call it bending instead of folding. In half, hamburger style, so this can slide over. So I'm sliding, I'm sliding this over on both sides. You're going to slide it down to where you had the cuts. Now you're going to gently open. You might have to reline up your paper, it's fine. Reline up my paper because they were not bound together yet, they're sliding all over. And just gently adjust it until the papers. Or as you want them. So there's my spine or binding. And then I have my sketchbook ready. All right, so details on the paper bag. Just making sure, yep, there's all my pieces. All right, fun. So the last example, sketch it. You can decorate the outside. I glued on a Colograph texture rubbing. However, I measured, so, oh, for the, I measured so that I could stick my flap in. So you could just keep your flap. If you don't want to decorate it, you can just keep your flap and take a look. You have Velcro, or you can put a little piece of tape to keep it down. I actually created this little pocket. I glued my texture rub just on three sides, one, two, three. And for my, the bottom of the bag, it's going to act like as a snap. I just made it into a triangle, so I fold it in half. You could eat, I could even cut it. I fold some angles and then it slips right inside. And then look, this one, because of what I used for the binding, the spine acts as a like a briefcase handle. So I can take my art journal around with me, my sketchbook art journal. When I open it up, just a couple things to show you that's neat. Here you can hold, you can put loose leaf drawings in here. So if you have drawings you've been working on, they can go in here. Tell them away for later. I have another pocket on this side, my drawing middle. If you have envelopes, you can create pockets inside. So just take an envelope inside and I can glue the front of the envelope. So I can create actually pockets 
to hold little ideas maybe that I cut out from magazines or words. Maybe I'm cutting out words from magazines to do some sketch poetry. So cool idea, right? All right, so there are some ideas on how to make a sketchbook or art journal. There's no wrong way. These are just some ideas. I'd love to see if you come up with another idea. So boys and girls, welcome to Drawing Club. And I look forward to hearing what you draw.